was genuinely noteworthy. He is many times viewed as the last figure among the five great heads who really focused on their kind. He likewise stayed a dedicated researcher of unemotional way of thinking. During his standard, Aurelius figured out how to commit time to creating a progression of personal works presently perceived as the contemplations, music, inside these structures, the Roman. Sovereign introduced an assortment of fundamental bits of knowledge on the way to a substance life. Subsequently, today we bring you 10 of the most pivotal perceptions for achieving satisfaction from the works of Marcus. Aurelius, only another thing before we begin it. Encourage you to remain drew in until the end. Assuming that you're here, it implies your journey. For your upgraded self, the last five are central, yet you want to watch them. Initial ones to comprehend as they give. An establishment for grasping them. Last ones, I'll anticipate you there. Endeavor to build your own personality. Endeavor to develop your own character. As Marco Aurelius communicates the psyche, itself has no requirements with the exception of those it makes we exist together in a materialistic culture we are ceaselessly assaulted with ads demanding the most recent devices we should have media reliably opens us to the lives of the princely and popular when we seek after bliss through material assets we are probably not going to find authentic bliss there will continuously be another one a bigger house a swifter vehicle more assets in the bank besides by looking for satisfaction in actual possessions we give up our joy to outer powers that it is that no material to basic message ownership is really our own thing can be removed on the off chance that we characterize ourselves by the quantity of rooms in our homes what happens when we lose our home the hidden idea here is that rather than pursuing material abundance we ought to figure out how to build our personality we ought to seek to become merciful genuine and persistent people personal growth and figuring out how to treat others with love error fundamental after the entirety of our home may capitulate to fire our vehicle could be taken also our business could confront liquidation sooner or later the single component that can never be taken from us our personality exclusively our personality frames us and escorts us through life an individual can rise or plummet in light of the temperances or imperfections of their personality furthermore regularly this leaves a enduring inheritance stop the quest for outside commendation stop the quest for outer acclaim marco aurelius attests regardless of how great a day-to-day -day existence has been there will in any case be individuals around the bed who welcome the miserable occasion there are eight billion people on this planet and endeavoring to have an existence that satisfies all of them is complete frenzy whether taking a stab at many preferences on instagram or trusting for an association on kindling it can now and again seem like our satisfaction pivots on others in the present society however there are ways of ceasing that mission for others endorsement the key is to start by tending to your own stream of thought rather than looking for approval from outside impacts try to uncover real joy by supporting a more resolute compatibility with yourself embrace the idea that on the off chance that somebody could do without you it's not on the grounds that you're not entertaining kind or canny there will continuously be the people who oppose you regardless of your activities or words so it's more shrewd to carry on with your existence in the most valid way conceivable on the off chance that you drop from somebody's political assessment don't pretend simultaneousness or then again if your companions say something you consider 
damaging let them know. In the expressions of French author André, guides better to be despised for what your identity is than adored for who you are not. Direct your concentrate exclusively towards what you have some control over. Direct your concentrate exclusively towards what you have some control over and ignore the rest. Marco Aurelius gives is the cucumber. Unpleasant discarded are there thistles in the way circumvent them that is all you need to not know anything more. There are just two parts of life over which we hold influence our contemplations and activities. Simply those the rest lies past our handle. Anyway, the way that frequently in life do we waste time and exertion grumbling about matters we basically hold no impact over. Feelings like resentment aren't purposeless all the time. On occasion they arouse us to act in. Snapshots of unfairness by and by there are various occurrences where such feelings feel no need considered. Traffic, for example, you can shout revile. What's more, Blair, however much you need or you can. Loosen up and pay attention to the radio. One way or the other, you're entrapped in the blockage, and there's nothing you can't do about it. Was genuinely noteworthy. He is many times viewed as the last figure among the five great heads who really focused on their cot. He likewise stayed a dedicated researcher of unemotional way of thinking. During his standard, Aurelius figured out how to commit time to creating a progression of personal works presently perceived as the contemplations, music. Inside these structures, the Roman Sovereign introduced an assortment of fundamental bits of knowledge on the way to a substance life. Subsequently, today we bring you ten of the most pivotal perceptions for achieving satisfaction from the works of Marcus. Aurelius, only another thing before we begin it. Encourage you to remain drew in until the end. Assuming that you're here, it implies your journey. For your upgraded self, the last five are central, yet you want to watch them. Initial ones to comprehend as they give. An establishment for grasping them. Last ones, I'll anticipate you there. Endeavor to build your own personality. Endeavor to develop your own character. As Marco Aurelius communicates the psyche, itself has no requirements with the exception of those it makes we exist together in a materialistic culture we are ceaselessly assaulted with ads demanding the most recent devices we should have. Media reliably opens us to the lives of the princely and popular when we seek after bliss through material assets we are probably not going to find. Authentic bliss, there will continuously be another. One a bigger house, a swifter vehicle, more assets in the bank. Besides, by looking for satisfaction in actual possessions, we give up our joy to outer powers that it is that no material to basic message. Ownership is really our own. Thing can be removed. On the off chance that we characterize ourselves by the quantity of rooms in our homes, what happens when we lose our home? The hidden idea here is that Rather than pursuing material abundance, we ought to figure out how to build our personality. We ought to seek to become merciful, genuine and persistent people. Personal growth and figuring out how to treat others with love error. Fundamental after the entirety of our home may capitulate to fire our vehicle could be taken. Also, our business could confront liquidation sooner or later the single component that can never be taken from us. Our personality. Exclusively our personality frames us and escorts us through life an individual can rise or plummet in light of the temperances or imperfections of their personality. Furthermore, regularly this leaves a enduring inheritance. Stop the quest for outside commendation. 
Stop the quest for outer acclaim. Marco Aurelius attests, regardless of how great a day-to-day -day existence has been there will in any case be individuals around the bed who welcome them. Miserable occasion. There are eight billion people on this planet and endeavoring to have an existence that satisfies all of them is complete frenzy whether taking a stab at many preferences on Instagram or trusting for an association on kindling it can now and again seem like our satisfaction pivots on others in the present society however there are ways of ceasing that mission for others endorsement the key is to start by tending to your own stream of thought rather than looking for approval from outside impacts try to uncover real joy by supporting a more resolute compatibility with yourself embrace the idea that on the off chance that somebody could do without you it's not on the grounds that you're not entertaining kind or canny there will continuously be the people who oppose you regardless of your activities or words so it's more shrewd to carry on with your existence in the most valid way conceivable on the off chance that you drop from somebody's political assessment don't pretend simultaneousness or then again if your companions say something you consider damaging let them know in the expressions of French author Andre guides better to be despised for what your identity is than adored for who you are not direct your concentrate exclusively towards what you have some control over direct your concentrate exclusively towards what you have some control over and ignore the rest Marco Aurelius gives is the cucumber unpleasant discarded are there thistles in the way circumvent them that is all you need to not know anything more there are just two parts of life over which we hold influence our contemplations and activities simply those the rest lies past our handle anyway the way that frequently in life do we waste time and exertion grumbling about matters we basically hold no impact over feelings like resentment aren't purposeless all the time on occasion they arouse us to act in snapshots of unfairness by and by there are various occurrences where such feelings feel no need considered traffic for example you can shout revile what's more blair however much you need or you can loosen up and pay attention to the radio one way or the other you're entrapped in the blockage and there's nothing you can do about it noticing others with sympathy engages us to give up or ease our assessments about them you should be capable at sharing and instructing yet that doesn't put the obligation regarding others on us we ought to bear liability solely for ourselves attempting to change others direct to line up with our expectations will as it were bring about despondency as the activities and results of others are theirs alone serenity the serenity you look for lives inside you Marcus Aurelius conveys today I got away uneasiness or no I disposed of it since it was inside me in my own discernments not outside side neglecting that is easy oh that we experience comes to pass inside the domain between our ears anxiety rage regret rapture distress peacefulness vulnerability over the top consideration pressure certainty whatnot else our feelings shape our encounters furthermore it's inside the mind where we choose which feelings to respond with in view of these encounters fathom that all that we go through starts inside furthermore you'll catch that you have extensively more influence than you want accepted over how you feel in your everyday presence obtain the expertise to manage the area of your feeling furthermore you'll figure out how to dominate a significant part of happiness embrace the transient embrace the transient nature of life Marcus Aurelius states don't go about as though 
You had 1,000 years to live demise. Drifts over you while you're alive. Capable be great. On the off chance that we can experience every day as though it were. Our last we will float towards what really matters without with nothing to do. Most people forget their own mortality and act as though they're undying, conceding their fantasies and longings for some other time. Marcus Aurelius' center example here is that we should figure out how to appreciate the restricted time we have and start living our lives today. Often we let ourselves know that tomorrow will be the day we start practicing or chasing after that work or composing that book. In the English language, tomorrow is one of the most risky words stop living for later and begin enjoying every moment.